This pizzeria in San Francisco's Mission District may look like many others, but it's what you don't hear that may surprise you. Owners Russ and Melody Stein and virtually every employee here are deaf. Most of their customers are hearing and write on notepads if they have any questions. Some people think that um, it's going to be really complicated to have a conversation with our, serv our servers, but really it's not. Just imagine yourself in another country, for example. Um, how do you communicate? You know, you use gestures, you point. It's just the same here. On the other side of the country, Mara Ladinas wasn't interested in the career paths many deaf are steered towards, like teaching or counseling other deaf people to follow her true passion. Many of my friends love my clothes, they love my shoes, and it really hit me that maybe I should become a fashion designer instead. So that's when I decided. Now her line of clothing featuring the sign language symbol for love has become a huge hit, even with her hearing customers. These examples are the latest in what some are calling a renaissance for deaf entrepreneurs. You can click on uh, each of these and see the videos. The director of the business program at the largest university serving the deaf says technology has been a game changer. Well, technology has been a big factor, so, so social media and email have uh, made face-to-face -face, uh, oral communication less necessary in interacting with uh, deaf people. There are also video relay services, which allow deaf people to communicate with hearing vendors or customers in sign language through an interpreter. But deaf business owners still encounter roadblocks, including lack of translation services and government agencies throughout the often difficult permit process. And it's still easier to be a deaf entrepreneur in larger cities with more resources than rural areas. I want to see more of openness to deaf people. You'd be shocked at how many people, how many of the deaf people have skills, you know, but, but they are refused the opportunity to begin with. But the progress entrepreneurs like these have made is undeniable. It seems like more hearing are becoming involved in sign and aware um, and they're supporting that. These business owners say the bottom line is, if you have a quality product, customers will come. Haven Daily, Associated Press.